Hey y'all. Okay, so I'm going to um I was gonna do this anyway. <clears throat> so I said let me do it now so I can unpack these supplies, sanitize some things that I need sanitized. <clears throat> so I'm going to save this video and I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel. CK68. So I can try to monetize it and get some views on it and hopefully get a few coins. I don't get paid from YouTube like I used to. And the music you hear and the, the thumping you hear is from next door. So that's why I'm hoping Instagram don't cut me off and I hope YouTube accept this video. So of course doing nails on the deceased is not for the weak at heart. It's not for everybody. So you cannot say, oh, I want to do that and then go in there and be like, ooh, ooh, and you know don't want to touch a dead person so don't even think about it it's something you either don't have an issue with or you have an issue with so don't even go in there doing it so basically um is my first set was done it was inside of the I don't want to say more, but it was inside of a cost of funeral home in the back where it was really cold, back to where they prepped the bodies and stuff. And I wouldn't recommend you doing it in that room because it's too cold. Not for us, but for your, your products. So, um, the ones I've done after that was done out in the parlor, out where they, you know, is going to actually have the funeral. So... The last time I did a set, actually I did two at the same time. I, I double teamed. I'm going to explain that. So I was thinking, I said, you know what, if I ever do this again, and I doubt if I do because I just simply don't have the time anymore. You know how you've seen funerals here on on Facebook or whatever, YouTube or whatever, and they are like sitting up on like motorcycles and stuff. I was thinking of telling my friend that has a funeral home, I was thinking about telling her, you know, think about for whoever's going to do it the next time, think about sitting the corpse up in a chair and of course strapping their torso to the chair so the corpse can be of course you no know, sitting there and you can sit down and their hands is like this. That's better than you standing up the whole time because I do it standing up then I will have to sit down because of course the body is, of course, really, really cold. And their hands, you know, is, you know, it's like this, so it's hard. So it's, it's you know, because if they land on the table, right, so they're like this, you can't move this hand sometimes the way you want it to put the acrylic on the finger. So that thumb is, especially the thumb's going to give you a hard time because like I just said, the hand is like this. So you're trying to, you see what I'm saying? Trying to put acrylic on this thumb. So you're trying to not have it go back and run all up in the epinephrium area and the skin. So that's what I'm saying. Try to have them put the corpse in a chair. That's what I was just thinking. I'm like, it should, they should be able to do that. Again, I don't know because, again, I've seen, you know, all kind of weird people on motorcycles and stuff. So, if they are on the table, you want to have them raise the table all the way up. So, when you're standing up, you their hand is right here. You're not going to be hunched down. All right? I'm going to show you guys my, my kit in a moment that I packed. So, now, of course, their body, like I just said, of course, is cold. So, that acrylic is not going to sit on their nails like it would a living person because i've every time i do it i look down and i'm like what it, it looks like the it's like it's because it's hard to flush the cuticles at the cuticle area it's hard to flush the acrylic there so you know you're doing what you can do and then like i said when you finish by the time you finish filing and, and buffing and stuff and you look down and it's, and it's like it's trying to come up and I use um primer i've never used ph bond so i was thinking maybe i need to use ph bond so I, so you're gonna use primer, of course, right? So of course, um, when they reach out to you and ask you, you know, are you available to do the, the full set? So now I know you guys are thinking, why don't you just get some press-ons? I don't want no press-ons on me if I not, well, when I pass. So whoever 
my family fine to do my nails. They know they better put some long extendons on me and some bling. I want to go out the way I live. So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. When people die, you know, they have nails on. I've done several, you know, deceased clients that had nails on. It wasn't my work, of course, but I still refilled it and did what I had to do for them so they can go out and looking pretty. I wasn't going to take that out with no press on, on them. So again, if somebody died, they don't have anything on their nails and they family request, of course, they have their makeup, their nails done. They don't want no press ones unless they used to wear press ones. So again, you can stand out as the nail tech that does natural looking acrylic full sets on the deceased. Right? So, of course, when they reach out to you and say, hey, are you available for a full set? The first thing you need to ask, besides, of course, what time and what date, you need to know that, you need to know the the, time, the day, then you'll tell them when, they can, when you can come. Right? Because it's always done, like, the day before, um, like, a couple of days before the funeral. Because, of course, if the funeral is, like, on a Saturday, it just depends, of course. You don't want to do it no month well not no month you don't want to do it no weeks in advance like you want to do it a few days in advance because they usually dress the body you know with the clothing and stuff on a thursday and then you know they get them ready for the service friday and then usually saturday is the funeral so you'll probably be dawning on a wednesday i'm just saying you know of course their funeral home is different so the first thing besides you knowing what day they want it done so you can you know schedule to come out in the time the next thing you need to know is what do they have on their nails you need to know so you would know how to of course pack your kit just like you were going to do you know a mobile service so don't even overthink that part you're going to take what you know you're going to need as if you was doing doing the set on the living so of course um the last couple of sets i have done they didn't have anything on their nails. So I automatically knew, okay, let me get my nail tips. So I'm just thinking in my head what I, the steps I would do on the full set on the living. I, of, course, of course, I would take that stuff. That makes sense, y'all, so far? I know y'all listening like, what? Y'all listening? Hey, are y'all paying attention? And of course, you're not going to be drinking and eating around that. If you're going to have a bottle of water, that's fine because it has a lid on it. But no drinking and eating. Y'all got that so far? Okay, y'all, y'all, thank you. Y'all listen. Okay, great. So, so that is what you're going to do. Know what they have on their nails so you can be 100% prepared. And of course, you're going to ask them what color nails. No, you ain't, no, what color polish? You're not doing polish. Polish takes this that's that's a that's a extra steps you're not doing polish everybody get color acrylic it is what it is so if they tell you oh she only wore this this gel polish or she only wore this regular polish it's all she wore you need to find the color in some acrylic because or you or you can charge a little more but i would just tell them i deal only in the color acrylic and they'll find a color even if it's new again don't you 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 already working you know, on the deceased, and then you at awkward position with your back and stuff. So ain't no, okay. Well, I use that color. No, I only work in color acrylic because, of course, that's gonna mean you're gonna get done faster, right? You're gonna get done faster. So this is my kit that I, um, this is my kit that I have here. I did one, um, the other night. After school was closed here and everything, made sure my students online was good. So I, I drove and I did two clients. I did two of them. Because I'm like, this going to be like, for real, like my last time doing this, I'm about to get super busy. So I did, I wasn't going to come back and then do another, do the other one. I did two of them. Is it awkward doing the other one of the disease? Yes, it's awkward with your body positioning and stuff. But it's not awkward for me as far as me like, oh, my God, because they, I mean, that doesn't bother me that they're dead. I know they're not going to get up and do anything to me. You know, they're not going to move, complain or whatever. I'll be talking to them. I'll be like, hey, girl, you going to get you some nails? And I look at them, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get your nails done, girl. I'm, I'm going to hook you up. I just be talking. It's just me. I just be talking. So, 
like I said, I did two, two of them back to back and I timed myself and I got done um, with the application. All I had to do was put the top coat on, but I was done with the, with the application in exactly three hours. Exactly three hours. And they were like uh, medium sets. Three hours. So if you, you know, I'm just saying, if you ever do like two of them back to back, so, um, what I, well, let me show y'all what's in, in this kit first. So you want to take your two rolls of paper towels, <clears throat> take your two rolls of paper towels, because even though they have stuff there that you need, like those, um, I can't call it those to like those props, like the prop they hand and, and arm up. They have those props there, but sometimes that's not enough and they be in the way sometimes. So again, stuff is gonna come to you. There's no way I can tell you everything uh, in this video that's gonna go on because something, it's, certain things just gonna go on and happen. You're gonna know what to do. So you're gonna, I, I would take two rolls of paper towel. Of course, your um, Viva, that's extra absorbent for when you're laying your acrylic and another brand of paper towel because you know, again, if their hand is close to their body like this, you need it, need it to be separated so you can reach it or, you know, get a better angle. So you get your um, the roller paper towel and put it like this, right? So now you have, now you can have control of their um, hand. So if they're on the table like this, I, if I, if, when I'm doing this hand, I'm going to be standing on this side of the table. And like I said, I would fix it and move their hand. So I won't be leaning over. I move their hand, get that paper towel there. They roll the paper towel and I'm standing on this side of the table and I'm reaching over here, of course, to do their, to do their nails. And their fingers are bendable. It ain't like really like a tree limb or anything. It, their fingers are bendable, but it just depends because some, the, the last one I did, one of them, her fingers were like this. So I was like, girl, I was talking to her, I'm like, girl, you need to relax. She was real still, so I'm like, shoot. So I kept trying to, you know, I would, and you could be rough with them, you're not gonna break their fingers off, you're gonna have to. So I was doing this, you know, to do what I needed to do and then it to go back down. And you can also get paper towels and roll it up and put it in between each finger so you can, of course, separate it. So the acrylic, of course, won't touch each other, right? So that's how you do that. But also, if they have them strapped to the table, like a strap across their arms and their body, if I was going to do this hand, I would see if this arm drops down. So if the, if the arm drops down off the table, that's even better for me. So now I'm going to get a chair, sit down, have my products, by me and then I can do their hand while their hand is like this off the table so I'm sitting down and I'm you know positioning their fingers and doing the work y'all got that so um like I was saying the only thing awkward is their thumbs because you know whether their hand is down like this is it's, it's hard to to get their dump their thumb in position so basically on all 10 of the fingers, you want to work with your acrylic dry. You don't want to have no wet acrylic running everywhere because you have to work with dry beads. So again, it it won't run back. So you bend it, do what you got to do. And then when you let it go, it, it's going to go back to the position it was in. But you know, all right. So two rolls of paper towels. Okay, two rolls of paper towels, and let me get a trash can. Oh, oh. So two rolls of paper towels, and in here, I'm gonna throw this away. I didn't even use it, but this is a sanding band. But I'm gonna I'm throw it away anyway. And I should have took two files, but I, 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 I brought 
brought one file. So of course you're gonna need a, um, a file, trash. You're gonna wear gloves, of course. Now ain't gonna even lie to y'all, I, I can't wear gloves, so I just kept sanitizing my hand. Kept sanitizing my hand. Of course, when I finished, I went and washed my hands, my arm, really good with soapy water, right? So again, in here, I had, I took two brushes just in case. So I took a smaller brush, And I, this is like a number, uh, number eight. I took a number eight and I took a number 16 because I wasn't sure, you know, again, how big their fingers were. I knew that, oh, so you want to know, of course, the length, you know, so took these two. I'm going to wipe these down. So I'm going to leave this out so I can wipe them down with um, a bubble side wipe. All right. So that's what I had in here. And of course I had my e-file because you're going to e-file. So that's dirty. Take that off. Ah, shit. So you had, you want, and you want to make sure you check your e-file, make sure it's charged up. If you taking a, you, of course you, you want a portable one, right? You want a portable e-file. You want to make sure it's charged up before you even go in there. So I'm going to sit this to the side so I can wipe this down. Also with my bubble side wipes. So I'm going to put this over to the side. Hey, Miss Shannon. Hey. So of course you want to take you some scissors. So you cut your nail tips. If you just work with um, forms, that's okay. But you want to ask them to send you a picture of their fingers because sometimes they don't have a free edge at all. I mean, whatsoever. And of course, they could be um, be nail biters, but nine times out of ten, they didn't have any type of free edge. So. If you can do forms without a free edge, more power to you. It'll take you even less time. But I don't, I don't like forms like that. I'm, I'm a tip person, right? So you got your scissors. You want to take a container of soapy water because they can't go wash their hands. I'm just saying. So when you finish with everything, you're going to spray their, their hand and fingers with, you know, with soapy water. Get a paper towel and clean their hands of all the dust and stuff. And, you know, put your top coat on. So y'all know I have long nails, so I took my tweezers so I can get my, y'all did some old tweezers, but I don't know why these are my favorite ones. Took my tweezers to get my nail tips out of my container. I'm gonna sanitize that. I took, of course, my hand sanitizer. I constantly kept sanitizing my hand. Um, of course, a buffer. That's trash. Of course, um, you wanna take your top coat. And matter of fact, I'm going to put on here because if you have clients that know you do this they're gonna be freaked out and be like oh she put all that stuff on me that she put on the dead people I, i'm gonna put on here a d so i'm gonna keep this to the side in case i ever have time to then again to do this so this will not be used on clients or me or anything even though it didn't touch their skin but still, I'm just gonna put it to the side. Um, cuticle oil, you're gonna take your little cuticle oil because like I was saying earlier, you do all of their work and you know, they're cold. They're not living, of course. So you will look down and it's like that acrylic is trying to come up off their nails already. So that's why I was saying, um, let me get this hand file out of the trash. What, I'm gonna show you in a moment. All right so so like i was saying you want to know what color they want so one wanted a lavender color so i took a, a lavender color i need to sanitize this and one want a red so i took the red that i have on my nails and y'all know i don't have a red acrylic i'm mad at myself still for not picking a red acrylic so this is a um the red acrylic i have on me from the um <laughs> believe it or not the beauty supply store and this is a pretty red too so i'm gonna sanitize that I have primer. So I just put some of my primer in this container. So I'm gonna put a, a D on here also so I won't use this on, on anybody but the deceased. So you got your primer. And like I was saying, I didn't take my pH bun, but if I do it again, I'll put your pH bun in there also. So you wanna have your glue, you wanna check, make sure you have your it's fresh glue. I took two of them. 
you guys know it's a nail tech you can open glue and sometimes you'll use it a few times and then it's sealed back up so it's a habit i always have me a tack so i had me a tack in there um i had tape i'm gonna show you why i got the tape in a moment and i'm gonna wipe this down too so tape i work out of um dapping dishes because i'm working with color acrylic so i had two dapping dishes and i took this i didn't use it though but i um Yes, well, actually, I did. I took this, and I'm explaining to you why I took this, right? And all of that came out of one of these. So now, you don't want to mess up them people' furniture or anything, because in my bag, you know, I'm not trying to take no traveling table. All of that ain't necessary. So when I put my products on, I have a um, I have two plastic plates here right I got foil and I covered up the plastic plate y'all know I use Viva though so I have um, my Viva folded up on this plate so of course the moisture from the paper towels hit this foil so I just take this off and throw this away so on this plate i have my paper towel and this and i took this i wasn't sure i'm like oh i might need it and i actually it came in handy because like i said i use dapping dishes dapping dishes are small and they can fall over so what i did was i had this here had the dapping dish here so just so as you can see it's support of course you put your monomer in here and I, of course, I had my monomer. I just put it under there in my desk. So you have your monomer. And I have my color acrylic on here. So this is my setup. So everything is like anchored. Right? And of course, I'm wiping my product here. So don't mess with them people's friendship. This is your setup. Now. after okay so also you're going to need take you a ziplock bag so when you get through with your um, wet paper towels you put it in in your um ziplock bag to cut down on, on this smell and i also took a spray oh here you go right here so you got this i took um a spray so i can you know spray the room down you want to use low odor monomer still because you don't want no mma or some strong monomer lingering in them people's funeral homes Cause some family coming in or they like this is a nail salon or a funeral home so take you a good spray and spray that their room down right and i didn't even use it because y'all know i use my low odor monomer that still is not here yet they got a, it's, it's a long story with that but anyway it's coming they got to get some type of ingredient they out of to, to make some more so now this is important you want to take your nail glue dryer spray because like i said in the beginning of the video they, they nails have to be roughed up really hard for that glue and their nail tip to stick. You just can't buff their natural nail. And their nails are, is not going to come off. Somebody said if it detaches, it ain't going to come off. You, okay, this is how I prep them. I use, a, um, I still use a 100, 180 grit file, right? You don't want to use no 80 grit. Because, of course, it's too rough on us. And if you are too, too, too rough and you file on their skin, it can, um, you know how you file on these, on these fake finger too hard and then on the side, they look all ate up and stuff. That's how their, their skin will look. It, you know, it, it'll be, look ate up. So stay off their skin. It's still skin, but it's, you know, it's real cold. So don't do that. So what I do is when I prep them, I get the um <laughs> let me let me think. I get the uh, 100 side of the hand file right, and I do this. Got to do it real hard. Not I mean not too hard, but you got to rough it up real hard. So at the same time, I'm pushing a epinephrine back and the natural nail. So I'm going from side to side taking all of that shine off their natural nail and I'm roughing it up 
and then I use the same 100 I use the 100 side again and I still go up against the epinicium not too hard that's why you don't want to use 80 grit file either and just take off any cuticle that could they still have cuticle you will see it so take off their take it off so you can use a sanding band but I just did it I just did it with a hand file is this your preference but still you can use I want you to use this hand file and push back the epinicium and at the same time scraping the natural nail really rough and like I just said you can hand file the rest or you can get your sanding band and take off just how you prep um, the living right all right wear a mask even before the virus you want to wear a mask because you're breathing in their body scent it, it, it you're gonna they smell like formaldehyde it's not nothing too strong because they, they embalming whatever I'm, i said formaldehyde whatever they embalm them with you you you'll smell that it's not too strong i don't smell it on everybody though because it, it was I, it was crazy because the last like i said i did two at the same time one had a, a real strong smell of like embalming whatever they use and one smelled it one had a different type of smell I, i'm just being honest y'all need to know that she had a smell I, i'm trying to be this i'm trying to be respectful but she, that one had a smell like she ain't bathed in a long, 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 long time. So I don't know what, what was what was going on with that. So I had my mask on. It was kind of hot, and I didn't bring a fan, so you can now, so you can, um, you want to bring a fan, all right? And of course, you want to wear your PPE. So I had on, um, a, my black jacket, and it's at home now. So when I went home, I took it off in the garage, so I can wash it. That mask I had on. Um, I'm going to wash it or I might just throw it away. So you don't want to reuse that mask. Throw that mask away. I think I'm going to throw it away. So now I also had in my um, bag here a towel. You know, so you want to. I put no, I put a towel on top of them while I'm working because I'm filing and stuff. I want them to be just be covered up in nail dust. So I, I cover them up with a, just that area with a towel and some paper towels too. And of course, don't forget your e-file because you're using color acrylic. Of course, you need to, you know, top coat, and you need to cure your top coat. So you want to use a lamp, of course, with a um a bottomless bottom, and make. And I checked it, make sure it was charged. All right. And your nail tips. So you want to take your nail tips and this is one of the worst things you can do is just get some random nail tips and they all out of place you know as nail tips that happen of course we drop them so i said here before i left i made sure that and i knew it was i haven't i didn't use um this in a long long time so it's like kind of brand new and i put tape on it you want to make sure you put tape on it because you're driving this thing all over the vehicle you're gonna cry because it's gonna take you forever to size up them nail tips to the fingers so that's why you know if you use form even better for y'all but again you need to make sure tell them to send you a picture of their hand to make sure they have a free edge if you're going to use the form unless you're just a pro like that and i'm not so i put tape on here and i made sure it stayed flat while i was driving so this is um just uh, my bag i use because this bottom here you know it's flat it has a thing in here so this here was at the bottom, of course, flat, and I start piling everything else on top of this, so this won't be moving around. And that basically is my um kit. So, oh, what I was, I brought this because I noticed that even though you rough that nail bed up really rough, and it looked just like our nails, if you rough it up really rough, you will see cuticle and stuff. And um, if you don't rough it up enough, you still want to use a little glue, too much glue, just like us, it won't stick. And sometimes the, the nail tips still don't want to stick. So you put that nail tip on there still, you're going to have to spray it and move, and move on. You can't just sit there because you'll be all day trying to make that glue stick. It's, it's just something, I guess, because they cold or whatever. I don't know. But take you some nail glue dryer spray. So 
know what I did to um on to on the two I just did at the same time. Like I said, I timed myself. It was right under two, um, right under three hours. That's not bad at all for two full sets, and they were like medium length. So what I did was, um, of course, ask them, you no, know, who get what color. So I won't mess up. I put that color, you know, by them. On, I mean, on you know, on top of them or whatever, you know. Put the, so I put the color there, and um, got the hand file, and I just went to one. And start roughing up her hands. And I went to the other one. The same thing. Take out the dust, of course. And I went over here. Back to her. Size up her nail tips. Put her, glue her nail tips on her hand. And I went back over here to her and put her nail tips on. So I, I was going back and forth. Then I got to the acrylic, of course. I, you know, did both hands, of course, on her. And I went back. And then I did her acrylic. Now I went back to her and I started hand filing. I I, I e filed at the end because I was trying to flush some cuticles, you know, a lot because again it's kind of hard to flush the cuticles, so the cuticle area. So I, I I filed her, then I went back and I filed her. Then I went back over here, got the sanding band, my e file, put it in my pocket, and went around the cuticle area on her. Then I went over around her cuticle area. Then I took the dust off, took the dust off, soapy water clean their hands looked at it real good because remember when they when they're laying their casket the family members have a certain way I mean not the family member the funeral home have a certain way how they have their hand so you want to make sure you look just like you should with the living you want to make sure you take your dog on time and no matter what angle they are being looked at those nails are pretty you didn't miss no acrylic over here or this one over at this angle this one here lumpy and bumpy and so you just again i could only human you have you have to make sure from all angles then i go around the table i look from this angle make sure everything is looking good because the worst thing you can do is do a crappy job and all them people finna see them in that casket with some crappy nails. So don't even get into this industry if you're not gonna take your time. So that's why I said in the beginning, you have to work with um, dry bees because their hand is awkward so that it really can't run back. You have to take your time. How did you get into service and dis disease? Well, to be honest with you, um, my friend, she just asked me one day. She said, hey, um, have you ever done nails on you know, on a deceased. I said, no. She said, you think you can do it? And she laughed. She said, don't kill me. I said, um, I probably can because I'm not, that, that don't gross me out. I could with some people, you know, dead people don't gross me out or, you know, I, I know I love scary movies. I love CSI, stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I was just thinking. She said, think about it. I said, okay. I thought about it. And I called her back like the next day. I'm like, you know what? I do it. And it just came to me like, duh, pack a kit as if I was going to do a mobile client. Then when I got there, she said, you ready? I said, yes. Yeah. So I walked in. Like I said, the first time I did, I walked in, into the, the morgue. It was cold in there and it was just bodies lined up, men and women. And, and I, at first my heart was like, didn't it stop? I'm like, okay. I looked around the room. I'm like, okay. I'm like, so where she at? And I just went to her and I looked at her, you know, and I just looked at her. I'm like, I looked at her. I'm like, okay. Looked at her hands and went to work. Usually how much does a tech make working on a deceased? You can charge what you would usually charge for this set. And of course, a little, of course, more, at least $20 more because you, for the inconvenience of, because your body is still working on the deceased. And of course, travel fee. So on like a little short set, I make like a hundred dollars. Thank you. So yeah, that's how I got into doing the um the deceased. 
What y'all think? <laughs> so again, it's not for everybody. Don't even get into this if you're gonna be like, uh, 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 like, uh, like, girl, like, don't, don't do that. Like, if you either think you can do it or not, don't, don't go in there and frown up and. Mm -mm. I said, like I keep saying, the only awkward thing is, you know, you're going to be standing up. So you're going to know when you're going to have to stand up and you're going to know when you can sit down. Cause like I say, if they have their hand, if they have them strapped, strapped to their table, tell them, tell them, because they'll tell you, okay, you need some call me. So tell them to unstrap their hands, just have their body strapped. So you will have control of their arms and stuff. And like I said, if they laying down, if they like this, their hand could be dangling off the table. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I sat down. My guy keeps saying I sat down and I did it. But on one of them, one of the ladies, one of her hands was dangling out the, the table so I can sit down and do her. But this hand, when I unstrapped it, it, it wasn't, it was still like this. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, man. So I had to get her hand, bring it back up to her body. And like I just said, I had to get a roll of paper, that roll of paper towel and do this so it can stay like this you see where i'm going and then go to this side of the table and then have my products there because they're going to be on the no on the on the slab or whatever you call this so that's where my this is it and i stood up and i worked it from this angle all right like i said some stuff are gonna, some stuff are gonna just come to you you don't automatically know trust me what to do you gonna automatically know how to position yourself and and, and, and do what you gotta do. Hey, I love doing this, but I'm not going to lie. You got my heart beating. <laughs> Listen, and me just thinking about you are great, and God will continue to bless you. Thanks for this beautiful insight. Oh, you're welcome. So let me stop touching my hair and stuff because I got to sanitize this. So like I keep saying, that's why I keep sanitizing my hand. So I really need to wipe this stuff down because like I said, I can't wear gloves. So I want you guys to, you know, if you're going to do it, of course, wear gloves and keep your mask on the whole time. Oh, so at the end, after you um got through with everything, you're going to do your top coat. Now, that's when you're going to have to be creative. So... Like I say, it depend, depends on the position of the hand. So on one lady, I had to, I did two fingers because hers was like this. So I, I put top coat on two of these fingers, right? It was bent, and then of course I cured it. And then I did two more. It was like, her, like I said, her hands were like this. So I, I top coated it and I, held it up with my fingers and I cured it or if it's like this you can cure it like this too so I just did a few things at a time then the thumb of course last so I held the thumb and I had to bend because I had I was like girl I was talking to her I'm like girl relax <laughs> and I would laugh to myself I'm like girl relax and her because her thumb was like oh hard so I had to bend it top coat it and cure it and I was holding her hand and I mean, her hand was, it, it was like somebody, you know how they hold their hand. I'm like, whew. I let her hand go. I'm like, girl, you rough. I'm just, <laughs> I know my friend was like, who's she talking to? God was talking to her. I'm like, girl, your hand, her hand was hard. But the other one, she was more flexible. I was like, okay. But this one, the other, girl, I'm like, girl, your hand hard. Relax. <laughs> so that's how I do the disease but like i keep saying y'all it's stuff it's stuff gonna come to you trust me stuff, stuff gonna come to you so that's like basically what you want to have in your setup though in your kit i use everything i had in that kit i mean yeah i use everything use everything so now you got to sanitize everything Could you bring someone in with you while you do their nails? Why would you want to do that? I wouldn't. I mean, unless you, I mean, it's up to you in the funeral home. You know, I said, they people, their family's not going to be there. I mean, you ain't not no kids or nothing like that now. Maybe another nail tech that you want to 
or have her see what you're doing or experience. Ask the funeral home. You know. Because a couple of times I had my, you know, I had my music in my ear. And I was jamming to my own beat and doing, doing their nails. I'm trying to think of anything else y'all might need to know. Um... Or just someone to accompany you. But again, y'all, just because they're deceased, you're not going to spend on three hours on one person. Like I said, I did two clients in a little under three hours. Because, and the only reason it took that long is because, again, I had to keep going back and forth in that table and position them and, you know, bend and stuff like that. And y'all know my back and stuff. So, to be honest with you, don't bring nobody. Unless you can work and talk at the same time because y'all know some of y'all slow because y'all be talking so if you bring somebody to, to you know you ain't bringing nobody to uh, keep you company you ain't you ain't gonna be there all night your job is to get done quick as possible so you can get up out of there because you're back so i would not even bring nobody i'm just being honest unless again i just want to see you do it and they pick up on some things but you got to know how to talk like you're supposed to be doing when you're doing clients you, you, talking keep going don't even stop because it should take you the same amount of time it it does the deceased it should take you the same amount of time as a real client but of course a little bit longer just a little bit longer because again you got to go back and forth around the table sometimes and you're bending and you got to sit up and sit and stand up so you know you're not going to take no extra hour y'all understand that don't be in there just talking it like no no Like I said, don't even do this if you know, oh my God, I'm scared. No, because that's what you say you want to do. So the funeral home people are not going to sit there and come accompany you. You're not going to ask somebody to accompany you because you're scared. Don't even do it. Because if they say, yeah, girl, I'll come. You don't, like I said, you don't even need to do it. And then the last minute they can't come, what you going to do if they can't come? You're going to cancel that job. Them people pay for you to make beautify their loved ones nails and you counseling at the last minute because you ain't got nobody come with you because you're scary don't even do it yeah that might be easy they are like i can say it's the only thing again your back right so like i was saying they laying down but in the beginning i know you guys missed it i actually thought about this for the first time because i don't you know i don't do it all the time i thought about it the last time i did i'm like shoot I'm gonna talk to her next time, cause she's. I'm a. She said she's gonna start doing it. I can, she, I'm. A, she gonna watch me do it if I do it again, and I'm gonna tell her. Can we put like I said, put them up in a chair? No, wrap, strap their torso of course to the chair, cause all we need is their hand. That'd be of course way easier on us. Still, their hand gonna be like this. So, but at least we sitting down. You know what I'm saying? We sitting down, cause their hand. It's not gonna be like this. Their hand gonna be like this. So we still can like you know work like this so that's what i'm i'm going to tell her next time i'm a licensed see you never know who on here i'm a licensed funeral director and embalmer i would only paint or do press ons sometimes they would request a hairdresser to come in too well like i said in the beginning what they wore in the living that's what they request for them to have in passing so if you are really good at press ons and they look natural and they don't like they came from the dollar store and they too wide and they get some thin nail tips i don't see nothing wrong with that but again i don't do press ons but doing press ons on a deceased that you've never done before, still, them, that, that family want that, they love wants to look right. So, I, again, I don't do press on, I know y'all have y'all way of doing it, how you measure the fingers, but, you know, you might have to go to the funeral home, measure their fingers, or have the 
the funeral director send you a picture of their hands and you're trying to visualize okay what size you know tips to 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 do y'all know how to do press when i can say that I, that's not my lane that's not my lane but still you know if you do press ons which is even yes of course even easier ask them what they want and they and like i only had one client that i did bling on because she was my client in living everybody else i didn't know so they were like oh natural color new color lavender color red color so again no polish that's two that's extra steps unnecessary no you're gonna put acrylic on them Oh, if I haven't said it, so like I was saying before, that acrylic, you do all that work and you look down and it's dried up already. It's trying to lift. It's trying to come up. It's hard to flush the cuticle area. So that's why I put the cuticle oil on there and it made it, of course, instantly look good. So you tell the funeral director, that, um, you can give them the, the cuticle oil. If you take a little, you can give them this and say, here, put this on them twice a day and up until the funeral because it's, it's going to just dry out. And they put that lanolin, lanolin, I can't say it. they put lanolin, I can't say it. that oil, that grease, they put that on their body and their face anyway, so they can put a little bit of that around their cuticle area, or again, give them this cuticle oil and tell them, keep their cuticle area oil so it can look fresh, because it's going to instantly dry out, and like I say, they, that acrylic look like it's trying to come up after all that hard work you just did. Hey, y'all. And I was, and be honest with you, I was like, man, which I did press ons. Because <laughs> I did two of them back to back. But they requested full sets. They didn't request some press on nails. Because, again, some people, the, the family, some people think of press on nails is you going to the dollar store or Walmart and get some, some the press on nails I already designed. That's what they think, honestly, when they think of press on. That's why they ask the funeral directors, you got somebody who, who do nails? Uh, she, um, she always got her nails done, but she been sick. But she she would love to have a full set, so that's why they I, I get called for full sets, not press ons. Again, unless they can be natural looking. I'm just saying. So I think I gave y'all all the good tricks and tips. Yep. <clears throat> and of course, when you get through with your paper towels, you put it in your Ziploc bag and you can throw it away outside. They're bigger than in the dumpster. Don't take it back home because I left this in my truck and I'm just not getting the smell of money out of my truck. It's not strong, of course, but I was like, woof, left it in there. I'm like, man. Okay, y'all, I got to do a few more things here around the school. It's Friday, so I can go home. I got to, I still, I got to do, um, my students, I, um, they, um, I got to look at their tests and stuff. So I got, I got work to do still. I had to go to the beauty supplies, no, not beauty supplies, I had to go to the nail supply store. So I can't, yeah, I, I went to the nail supply store, got, got some more stuff. So, yeah. I've been working, working. So I said, let me sit down and do this video real quick so I can unpack this stuff, sanitize, and put everything back up. So, yeah. Now you know how, what to expect. But So, the funeral director that's on here. Can y'all do that? Or is this something that people are doing, doing an extra step to have them sit up? Can the, that deceased person, can they... Can you can they legs and stuff be bent so they can sit up in a chair? You strap their torso and stuff, of course, to the chair, and we have their hand like this. Is that possible? I, that's what I was going to have her do if I do this again, so I can show her. Cause she's actually going to attend my school, and I'm gonna make her a manicure, so not so she'll know just enough to do the deceased. She's not interested on doing the living. So is that possible for them to sit up in a chair and you strap their torso? I said, I don't know. I just remember seeing this guy on this motorcycle and a couple of other people sitting up at a domino table. I'm like, what the hell kind of? So 
something to think about. It'll be a lot easier on us. A lot easier. If you think it'll freak you out, of course you can always get that sheet and cover their face up, but I don't do all that. I, I look at them. I'm like, hey girl, you all right? And I said, the one who think it was like this, I'm like, girl, relax. <laughs> I'm like, relax your hand, girl, you hurting me. And she was really, it was really hurting me too, because I had to, <clears throat> you know, bend it like I wanted to bend it. They were like this. I'm, I'm like, ugh. Whew. So that's it. <laughs> that's it, y'all. So I, 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 if I, if they, if, if she tell me, yeah, she can strap them to a chair, bet. If I have time. Because I'm about to get busy. I'm about to get super busy. Y'all, my style, she did the damn thing on this quick weave. Of course, it's a quick weave, right? My natural hair. This is my leave out. Anyway, let me get my hair so I can clean this stuff up. Y'all got any questions? Y'all good? <coughs> Y'all good? Y'all good? All right, I'm gonna go sanitize everything. I said that before 900 times. So that's it, y'all have a good weekend. If you don't do this, like I said earlier, think about doing, um, you know, um, nursing homes or whatever. You can even think about. I'm just thinking not top of my head. You can even think about going to like the um at the women's shelter. Make them feel really pretty and good. Going up with some nail polish. So think ahead. Pack a kit to do natural nails only. You ain't taking no acrylic and all this stuff. You just want to shape their nails up. You know, file it, buff them. You know, clean their hands and give them some. Uh, if they got, uh, if they got, you know, a free edge, and if they wear, wear nail polish, polish their nails. But I, again, I, y'all know I hate regular polish. All they gonna do is mess it up. So tell them you give them some gel polish. Or if they want regular polish, they are gonna be still regular polish. But the ones who re, who re, who would really love to look nice, give them some gel polish because that's of course longevity. It look nice for you know weeks and weeks and weeks. All right, so think about doing that. House, well, I mean, you can ask hospitals, go to the hospital and say, hey, talk to like the manager on the floor and ask them, say, hey, you know, like maybe the, the floor or the ward that have the, like the hospice maybe, I'm just, I'm just thinking like the hospice See if they, you can talk to the head nurse, they're in charge or whoever, and see if they can talk to the family or give you the family information and you reach out to the family yourself and say, hey, you know, I'm a nail tech. I work on natural, healthy nails, da, da, da. I would love to keep your family member, you know, feeling good and looking nice while they're in hospice or whatever. Do like a manicure on them. If they can wear that, you know, because people that have cancer, it affects their um, nail, their nail place, and they be dark, so they may want some red polish on them or something. So y'all be creative, y'all think, right? And of course, I'm getting to charge your traveling fee and your convenience fee because you got to pack up that stuff. You got to pack and think in the head what I'm gonna need, what I'm gonna need, what I'm gonna need. So the way I pack again is think in this in advance every step I'm going to do. I think. Okay, tips, tips. I thought tip, I cut scissors. Okay, shape, file. Got my hand files. Okay, buff. So I, I don't use no cuticle pusher. I just, like I said, I push back with the hand file. Hand file. Okay, bit. Got that. And I take all your, take your container monomer. Don't just take a little bit because if that monomer fall over, even in this, you out of monomer. So take your whole container of monomer. Sandy bands. So watch this video. So I'm finna save it for real so it won't be so long. And I'm gonna put it on my YouTube channel also. CK68. I may or I might just put it here on my IGTV. I might put it on both. Alright, y'all. Y'all have a good weekend. And I appreciate y'all. And um y'all be careful. <laughs>